all good things are being made in wooden drums. Leather, beer, wine, whiskey. We are really trying to make leather the way it used to be made 200 years ago. We are installing the drums in the tannery in order to streamline our retanning area. This new design allows us to process leather at a rather slow speed. This is African wood. It's called yellow teak. The trees are up to 70 or 80 years old. They're being cut into pieces, then submerged in water for two years, which gives them a certain density. Then they're being shipped to Italy and been made into tanning and or retanning drums. Italy has got a long history in making leather. This is going back to the 15th, 16th century. They have the expertise, they have the history. You have a customer base dating 500 years back. That's hard to beat. We started assembling the drums basically from the ground up. They've gotten to the point where they're precise enough with their woodworking that they don't believe they have to pre-assemble them. The trickiest part of installing these is the building they're going into. To get these in place, it's a really tight fit in an old building. These drums are about 12 feet in diameter by 10 feet wide. The weight of the drums without the hides are about six tons. During the processing, there are up to seven temperature changes. A wooden drum is able to retain the heat and it's all natural. In most companies, the ownership is trying to get that leather out as fast as possible. We are somewhat ignoring this. If it takes us four weeks or five weeks, that's all right. It makes good shoes, it makes consistent shoes. Every pair is as consistent as a pair last day or last week or 50 years ago.